The first step in the diagnosis is a detailed conversation between the doctor and the patient and examination. The orthopedist will ask about professional or sports activities, medication, arthrosis of other joints, past infectious diseases and injuries. The doctor will then evaluate the patient's gait. He will examine and feel the legs. Using special techniques to identify problems with the muscles and the condition of the ligaments of the knee and menisci, pain during pressure and movement. Both limbs are evaluated completely. Since deformities of the ankle joint, arthrosis of the hip joint or flat feet create an additional load on the knee joint. The most important method in the detection of bone arthrosis is radiography. The pictures show changes, where the cartilage has degraded in the joint, the distance between the bones decreases. If the joint is swollen, an ultrasound will show excess fluid in the joint due to inflammation, called synovitis, or the presence of cysts. In some cases, magnetic resonance imaging is prescribed. On MRI images, the doctor will assess the condition of the joint membrane, whether there is synovitis, bone edema, the degree of cartilage wear, inflammation of the articular bag of the knee joint. The goal of conservative, non-surgical, treatments is to relieve pain, stop inflammation, maintain mobility and range of motion, and improve the patient's quality of life in the long term. Changes in diet and exercise are important components of osteoarthritis therapy. Weight loss unloads the joints, improves metabolism and reduces the likelihood of inflammatory degradation of articular cartilage. Regular, individually tailored therapeutic exercises strengthen the muscles, which stabilize and support the knee joint and its functions. Shoes should be properly selected, if necessary, insoles insoles should be made. Acupuncture helps in the symptomatic treatment of pain. In Germany, acupuncture for gonarthrosis has been a paid medical insurance procedure since 2007. Medical therapy, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and newer drugs from the Cox IBS group, as well as low-dose opioids, is used when pain and discomfort severely limit the patient's daily life. But such symptomatic treatment with pain medications is unacceptable in the long term due to unwanted side effects. In Germany, injections of hyaluronic acid preparations into the joint are very popular as symptomatic therapy. As a rule, in the initial stages of arthrosis, injections reduce pain. The improvement lasts for many months, the patient can walk longer sections of the path without pain. There are a number of contraindications to injections. So it is necessary to carefully discuss with the doctor the risks of such an intervention in the integrity of the joint. An alternative to injections of hyaluronic acid is the introduction into the joint of the patient's own blood plasma, specially prepared, rich in platelets. It is worth noting that there is no drug or supplement to be taken orally to enhance the growth of one's own cartilage tissue. Joint sparing surgery is an appropriate treatment for gonarthrosis if it can slow or stop the wear and tear process. If the cartilage defect is small, transplantation of autologous, bone, cartilage is promising. In this procedure, a piece of intact cartilage is taken from the patient and grown in the laboratory to the required size. The doctor then injects the grown cartilage cells into the knee joint to the corresponding area with the defect. One stage intervention is also known, in which the patient is injected with chips from his own cartilage in the form of a mixture with blood elements into a defect in the articular surface. Another treatment option for minor cartilage damage is microfracturing. In this procedure, the doctor through a tiny access injures the bone lying under the cartilage. This causes blood flow to the defect. Stem cells from the blood differentiate here into replacement fibrous cartilage. If cartilage damage has gone too far, prosthetics are considered. If the cartilage damage affects only one area of the knee joint, then a partial prosthesis may be sufficient. In the case of progressive arthrosis of the knee joint, a total endoprosthesis is installed, which makes it possible to restore painlessness and mobility to the knee, and the patient, the opportunity to play sports, work and lead an active lifestyle. Patients with gonarthrosis can do a lot to reduce pain and improve their quality of life by consistently adjusting their lifestyle and habits, for example, switching to an arthrosis-friendly diet to achieve normal body weight, adapting sports activities to osteoarthritis of the knee, sports with low intensity and gentle movements, such as cycling, walking, are optimal for healthy cartilage metabolism.